Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix your phase for the kick and bass with kilohertz disperser. So I prepared a simple kick and bass right here. And currently it looks and sounds to me that it's pretty much out of phase. And you can actually tell that by this area here where the bass is peaking uh, upwards, the kick is peaking downwards in the cycle. We want it to be in phase so they amplify each other, so to speak. And using kilohertz disperser is kind of an odd way to fix it because it's going to change the sound of your bass or your kick depending on where you put it. But I actually like the sound of a dispersed kick. And this is how you're going to do it. So let's load it up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to play with the amount and pinch probably. And what it does is that it's going to shift the, the cycles forward or backwards in time, if that makes sense. Yet it's not going to introduce latency to the signal. Um, I'm not that good at the technical explaining of how this person works, but uh, it's a kind of a cool plugin uh, for this type of uh, for for fixing this type of problems. So now it's completely out of phase. Now it's in phase and listen to the kick. It sounds a lot fatter. And we can play around with the crossover frequency over here as well. And now it sounds pretty good, to me at least. It's here without. Maybe turn down the pinch. Now it's getting a little bit out of phase again. Now it sits about right to me. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show for today. Thank you.